going to take the cape off this deer of mine because of that good uh, antler and how unusual it is. He's got a big mark on his ear, but we should be able to fix that in bluing. So I'm going to show you the basic cuts and measurements to do a fallow deer. First measurement is from the eye, corner of the eye, front corner of the eye to the tip of the nose, which is seven. You measure all around the neck, about two or three inches below the ear. Measure all the way around, and that comes to 21. And then you do one measurement around just behind the front leg. And we measured that before, and that was also 41, which is a pretty pretty decent size fellow deer. So it's got a 41 inch chest, measured all the way around, circumference, around the neck, and to the corner of the eye. And if you want to make sure that if, when you're mounting your own deer, or even for the taxidermist, if you want to make sure to set the antlers on the right angle, such as in this big malformed deer, and you want to get the right set on the angle, angle of the antlers on the mount, so you measure from the tip, usually on the right, uh, I'm measuring on the left hand antler, left hand antler to the tip of the nose just to get the right set is nine inches that way you can set them at the right angle and they look uh, just about natural okay we'll start the taxidermy part the cutting we'll show the cuts after eh? okay so we're going to explain the basic cuts to take a cape up to the base of the head to get back to your taxidermist so with the tape measure I'm not measuring I'm just showing the basic cuts you know, the basic cuts are around each leg above the Above the knee, there's the knee, about there, you do go cut all around the way there, all the way around there. Then you follow the hairline up the inside, the outside of the leg, where the white hair meets the brown hair, you can see there's a natural mark. So then you cut from that cut around there, and go around to about here, which is where we're going to cut the cape off. So do that on both legs. And the cape, you want to leave plenty of cape for your taxidermist so you can mount your deer. So I usually cut about four inches back from behind the leg. Take plenty of cape and we cut all the way around there as well. So we're going to do that. And the last cut you do is right from the, near the base of the uh, antlers. Between the ears, you want to stop cutting between the ears because we're going to do a cut that goes in a Y shape from the coronal or the base of each antler out either side. This goes from the antler out to here. And there's a natural cowlick there, usually aimed for that. And you stop your cut there from, this is when your head's skinning the deer. But the basic cut to get the cape off is from that point between the ears, down the back of the neck, right in the center, right through to your circumference cut on your chest. You can see the natural hairline there, he just cuts right in the middle of that. All the way down and straight, keep it straight. And a sharp knife so it doesn't make it ragged. Because that's the only cut that'll show on the deer when he's mounted. Okay, so now we'll start. The basic cuts, I only use a small knife to do most of that. So you don't need a whopping great big bowie knife. Here's a basic cut from the, this is all you want to do, take the cape off. In between the ears, you can see the cut right down the back of the neck, all the way around the chest. Then you can see the cut just above the knee, all the way around on both legs. And following the white, where the white hair meets the brown hair. Don't go inside the armpit, we'll cut around and joined up with the belly cut. So we're going to start skinning from this side. You don't want to get a lot of dirt and stuff on your cape if you can help it. So once you've done one side, either pull the skin right back up or lay a piece of plastic or something on the ground. And keep the okay, after a bit of work, probably about half an hour's work, we've taken the cape off up as far as the base of the neck where we're going to cut through the atlas bone, which is what joins the head to the, to the body. We'll cut through there around the neck and we'll twist the head off. Cut it off and we've got the cape on the head and from here you should be able to get it straight to the taxidermist. You can see the shape of the cape, how we've got it. It's all opened out, you can see the bullet holes. No blood on them, no dirt. Okay, so we've caped out the deer, came out really clean, there's hardly any meat on the skin, hardly any blood, no dirt. So now we've cut it up to the back of the neck, and we're going to do the Y cuts down the back from the antlers and head skin the whole head. You do the ears, the eyes, the nose, and the lips, you split all that, turn all the ears, turn the lips, 
turn the nose, turn the eyes. Then we get a good layer of salt and spread all over it and put it in a hessian bag. You use a hessian bag because if you use the plastic bag, plastic bag, it'll get too hot and you get hair slip when you start to tan it. So you use a hessian bag which has got holes through it, the air will circulate around the skin and keep it nice and fresh and the salt will actually drain all the moisture off over the next day or two and then we'll start to flesh it and tan it. But for now we've got a nice clean skin. We'll take it back to camp and we'll do all the head skinning back there. So once it's cooled down, it's laid out to cool down, let the, the body heat cool down out off the skin. Then we just well, what, up. what would you do, Rob, if you were on a day trip and you got your deer to that stage? If you got your deer to this stage, then you can take it straight to a taxidermist and they'll head skin it for you. Yeah, it's a better, better to do that if you're unsure, if, eh? Yeah, if you're not quite sure what you're doing, you don't know how to head skin. Taking a cape is probably the best way to do it, and if you learn how to do that, then you can get a get your deer back to the taxidermist. Otherwise, learn how to cape a deer and then head skin a deer. That way you can do it all out in the bush without having to take it straight back. But you could stick this whole thing in the freezer as it is, if you've got a big enough freezer. Put it in, double bag it in a plastic bag, and freeze the whole lot until you can get it back if you're away for a few days. Otherwise, get it straight to a taxidermist. Or you can head skin it and salt it. So. And all these tips are brought to you by Rob Burton's Fishing Game Taxidermy.